The problem is this is an AT&T uh, U-verse connection, which is really DSL right now in Shreveport and Bossier. And we're getting the message ID NAD29-2902 message in the browser. Now, it doesn't matter whether we use uh, Chrome or if we try to surf with Internet Explorer. We get it, and notice it's given given us this message. If we even try to go to Microsoft, now here's the thing: I am remotely controlling this computer, so we know that Jim is online. If I bring up my, his start button, and I can ping Google.com, all right. Again, he is surfing. All right, so. The thing is, the it appears that this particular Motorola MVG510 or AT&T's network is selectively restricting certain domains on their network. As an example, I can go to Google.com. Well, all right, here we go. All right, so I can get to Google.com, no problem. Okay, see, I can get to Yahoo and Chrome. Now, you would think that this would be a browser issue, but it's not. Again, I was able to actually get to Yahoo in Internet Explorer just a few minutes ago, so let's try it again. And notice in Internet Explorer, it's redirecting me now. And first, I thought it may be a DNS issue. So, I was... I went into his uh, TCP IP settings and I set his local area connection to use Google's DNS. All right, which is very robust and shouldn't give us any problems. Well, again, uh, notice I can go to fastsupport.com. Um, I can go to, um, let's try Facebook. Alright, let's try Yahoo. Alright, let's try CNET. Now, notice with CNET.com, again, the router grabs it, and I'm assuming this is with the router because there are multiple reports with this uh, MVG510. But notice that it grabs it and it redirects me. Now, CNET is a very popular, very trusted website. So something weird is going on. Now, if I flip over to Jim's laptop, and again, I'm remotely connected to it as well, so we know he has good uh, Internet connectivity, we're basically going to get the same thing. So it, you know, it's not just a PC issue <clears throat> or spyware. His computer is relatively clean. I've already checked it out. So again, I can get to Google. I can get to Yahoo, but let's try CNET.com. And it's not just CNET, it's, it's other websites as well. So if I try to take him to my website, it redirects us as well. Uh, let's try All right, ah, it redirects us off of CNN. Let's try YouTube. So it lets us get on YouTube. So something weird is going on. And notice, all right, so this is YouTube's web page. And no, uh, YouTube generally has ad banners in here, all right? And so what's happening now is the router is not letting this iframe come in. So there's something really, really weird going on. I think probably it has to do with this particular AT&T modem and router because there are many reports of this on the Internet. And so, like I said, something, uh, something really weird is going on. This is not a PC issue. This is not an internal network issue. It has to do with either that Motorola modem and router or 
AT&T's network itself is, is just capturing his DNS and rerouting it, even though we've told his PCs to use Google's DNS.